Hello everyone. Welcome to another 2N on air broadcast. Thanks for joining us. What will we be discussing and showing you in the next 60 minutes? We will dive into technologies, products and tools you should definitely consider when choosing a system you can successfully scale, grow and update for many years ahead. Access control is quickly evolving and we see a strong market shift towards IP-based solutions, touchless mobile access and remote site management. Those are just some of the topics we will cover with four 2N experts today. Jacob, the star of 2N promotional videos, will also join us on the set to put the 2N intercoms and apps to some hardcore testing in his lab. So sit back and get ready for 60 minutes during which we will cover pretty much everything you need to know about access control in 2022. Let's get to it. William Besson is in charge of some of the largest residential projects 2N currently has in its pipeline. He oversees major new developments and therefore closely follows the latest trends in access control and door entry. William, if you're a system integrator or installer working on a project in 2022, what should be going through your mind as you decide which access control solution to choose? So there would be four things that you have to uh, keep in mind. The first one is IP. Um, I believe the second one would be mobile access. Cybersecurity is very important as well. And uh, integration, so the possibility to integrate with other systems. Uh, those are actually are not really like a trend, but it's what's happening on the market right now. Um, and whoever will follow those four points will surely be successful in his projects and offer added value solutions to its customers. Okay, let's break down those four key pillars. Let's start with IP. Okay, so IP now is everywhere. And when it comes to access control, the growth on the market is 15%. So it makes sense to go for IP because of the integration, the configuration, the easiness of installation. Uh, and now you have IP on your smartphone, you have IP on your computer. So even the access control needs to be IP now. I see. But what's the benefit of switching to an IP-based access system for the installer or the building owner? OK, so what I want to remind is that 2N has been doing IP access control for many years. So we know exactly what we're talking about. And the first really important benefit is that IP is easy to install and easy to configure. Uh, for the installation, it's just one UTP cable and PoE switch, and that's it. It's going to work. Uh, for the configuration, one technician and his computer is enough. You can do it locally or remotely very easily. Um, also, one thing which is important is the time that you will spend to design your system. Uh, when it comes to IP, you just put the reader, put the cable, and you're completely done. It's not going to take much time. It's not going to take much effort or thinking. Uh, and also the quotation is easy. When you are quoting a project for a tender, you don't need to uh, add multiple devices and boxes and controllers. Just add your reader, your intercom, and that's it. As another key feature for modern access solution, you mentioned mobile access. Let's dive into it. Yeah, well, it's, it's 2022. So basically, you want to prov uh, provide to your customer better ways of accessing their homes. I mean, if you think about a uh, car, for example, now most of the new brands offer you the possibility to enter and turn on your car without even using the key. And, and in the end, that's what we want to do as well. Uh, now, when you're leaving your home, uh, like years ago, you were taking your phone, you were taking your wallet, you were taking your keys. Now you don't take your wallet anymore because you can pay with your phone. So what 2N wants to do is provide you the ability to not take your keys anymore and use your phone to open the door using the Bluetooth or the NFC credential, for example. It's also harder to lose a phone than keys or a key fob. Well, precisely. I mean, it's very easy to lose a key or a key fob. It happened to me already, but losing a smartphone is very unlikely. So mobile access is much more secure than key fobs or keys. Um, 2N has developed its own uh, technology called WaveKey, which allows you to be 100% contactless as well. That's pretty nice, especially in these COVID times, when you can open the door using a wave or even just touching with your elbow in the middle of the reader. So my colleague is going to show you that later. Speaking of security risks, you mentioned cybersecurity is one of the key points when it comes to designing access control for residential projects. Mm. 
Oh, that's right, yes, because at the end of the day, the device is installed outside. So it's a visible device that anyone can potentially tamper with. So you want to be really strict on the cyber security and the security of the device so that no one can actually enter the building. So simply put, the intercom you pick for your entrance should be hard to get into. So exactly, the, the physical security is the first step into cyber security. You don't want anyone to tamper with the device and get access to the local network. So in 2N, we use uh, award-winning design and really hardened materials to make sure that the device is going to be secured at the door. So no one can actually access the device and connect itself to the network. So 2N also incorporates in its devices a temper switch so that if anyone tries to tamper with the device, we can trigger an alarm and automatically detect it. Yeah, so now we covered the physical security. Now it's time for the cyber security. And it's really a big topic. So we could speak hours on this. Uh, 2N has put lots of effort on every product, if it's the intercom, the answering unit, the access control, to make sure that the cyber security is respected everywhere. GDPR as well is very important in 2N to make sure that we protect the privacy uh, of our customers. So what I would suggest is really for anyone interested to download our hardening guide. Uh, that guide contains a lot of information about cybersecurity, about physical security, how to make sure that your system is going to be secured and safe, and also provide the best uh, quality of service for your customers. You can use the link here in the stream to download the 2N hardening guide. Last from your four things, the importance of interconnectivity of intercom with other devices. Walk me through the integration. So my colleague Radka is going to really deeply speak about this later on. But uh, if I can speak about it briefly, you were mentioning some of the big developments uh, we are working on, and all of them require integration. Uh, this integration is really important because it allows them to have multiple systems working together and offering a global solution. So for example, in such project, uh, our access control system is integrated with systems such, such as VMS for a video management system, uh, home automation, uh, access control as well. So all of that from really different brands, not 2N only. Uh, this allows you to create a lot of various scenarios. For example, preview of the camera on a different system, having extraction of the data, having some notifications, for example. All of that thanks to the open protocol that we support in 2N. So IP access control based on open protocol, just like what we do in 2N, allows you to scale your projects, you know, add devices later in the project without basically limits. Uh, so if anyone really wants to know more about which brand we support, I really encourage them to go visit our 2N integration hub, which has plenty of information on this topic. Thank you, William, for the chat. Oh, you're welcome. So you've heard it. Four must-have things to add major value to protect or to win it in the tender. IP-based intercoms and readers, smartphone Bluetooth access, bulletproof security, and scalability via integration with other brands. Let me walk you through the features of our IP style, which is the best intercom that we've ever done in 2N, and also the best intercom in the world. In this, you have the four key features which we talked about briefly but you have also one of the most powerful processors ever put in an intercom, which allows us to have this very nice 10-inch display suitable for residential and office, and also full HD camera with night vision. It looks nice, but it's also very durable, and Jacob is going to prove that in a while. Welcome to my lab. We're going to have a short hands-on session where I put the two end components to the test. We're going to start with a unique display of the IP style intercom. IP65 certified durability lets you install a 2N IP style intercom outside, anywhere, with no need for cover. The IP style easily can withstand heavy rain, which we'll simulate here. This is due to the cleverly placed water drains and leak proof seals. But high quality workmanship is the key to full water resistance. Anyway, showering the intercom is no challenge in the world of 2N. The challenge is to make a touch screen work in the rain. Have a look. You can see it's jumping all around like that. 
The smartphone's display is not able to differentiate between raindrops and a finger touch. Which is not the case over here. The intercom software automatically calibrates the display so that it recognizes and ignores the raindrops, but it doesn't mean that the 2N IP style ignores all the touches. When you touch the display, it responds instantly. But how clever is the intercom software? Clever enough to recognize a finger touch in medical gloves? Yes. Clever enough to recognize the touch of leather gloves? Yes. Clever enough to recognize the touch of knitted gloves? Yes. Clever enough to recognize the touch in hockey gloves? That's probably not very likely. Back to you, Sinead. We talked about the products, their benefits, the portfolio, but how to easily manage the whole residential installation. Does the site admin or integrator always need to go on site to change the resident's name on the display of the intercom? To answer all these questions, we have Voita. Welcome, Voita. Thanks, it's great to be here. So Voita, you are an accounts manager and an ambassador for My2N. And what does that second role really mean? My turn ambassador really means to be uh, the voice of those who matter the most for us, which would be our customers. So my role is to uh, get a feedback from our customers and feedback from, from the market and provide a, sort of a bridge, if you want, between them, our customers, and us as the company that's supposed to bring them the solution and to make sure that the feedback is properly translated so the uh, solutions that we have today are better tomorrow and they properly reflect the actual need of our customers and of the market. So it looks like you're the right person to talk to about My2N with. Let's start with an easy one. What is the My2N cloud? My2N is a cloud-based platform, as you pointed out correctly, uh, for a communication and administration, which is what I would say what it technically means, but what it means for our customers is that it's a solution to make their life easier, whether it's about administration of the site and administration of the system, or whether it's about the setup of the communication of uh, four devices on the site. And we have one more guest, Christian, a technical specialist for My2N, who's here to show us just how effective it is. Welcome, Christian. What are you going to show us? Hello. Today I will demonstrate an initial setup of a small apartment building with one intercom at the front door, five apartments and up to four smartphones in each apartment. Wow, we don't have much time, Christian. <laughs> no worries, I will be done sooner than you finish the interview with Vojta. I will just create a site, assign the device to it and set up the calling. All right, well, let's see. You can check your screen from time to time whilst you work. Back to you, Voita. Can you tell us a bit more about My2N in more detail? Sure, sure. Uh, well, My2N is, is uh, a relatively comprehensive platform. So I think that uh, what, what you can turn it into are, in fact, three points. Uh, one would be the communication, then uh, configuration or administration, and the last point would be the access control. Um, I would probably start with communication. Uh, most of the people uh, think that uh, My2N is mostly about mobile video when it comes to communication part, which is not true because mobile video is a relatively small part of, of the whole service. Mobile video allows you to receive calls from your intercoms, from your visitors on any type of mobile device that you have, be it tablet or mobile phone. The second part of that communication, however, is simply the fact that as an installer, you have a very easy job through my 2 n to uh, make the whole system that you're installing uh, to call in between each other, which is very easy. So whatever kind of end device you have through my 2 n you can very easily call to that device. So I understand that I set up calling between intercom and smartphone in my 2 n but why should I do it for answering hardware units? That's a really good question. Uh, for mobile device, you have no other choice because that's, that, that's what the cloud is there for. But uh, uh, doing the configuration for uh, uh, 
hardware answering in it as well, it might make a, makes a life of our installers uh, significantly easier. And the reason is that uh, you don't need to remember, if you're an installer, you don't need to remember a lot of things that normally you need. You don't need uh, an authentication proxy, you don't need to remember a firmware version, you don't need to remember a SIP account, because My2N does remember all those things for you. All you need to do is just put those two devices, the hardware answering unit, as you said, and intercom into My2N. And it's the platform that does the all tricks for you. So uh, that just saves your time as an installer and uh, helps you to be a lot faster with the setup and installation. I see. And what's the second part, administration? That would be administration, yes. Uh, so my tool allows you to uh, manage the users, manage the credentials. You can, of course, add users into the installation. You can delete them. You can manage their uh, credentials as well. But uh, perhaps, perhaps what I would say is uh, there are, again, two parts. One would be the remote administration, which is mostly about the management of the users, as I, as I said. But then you also have a remote configuration, and those things should not be confused, let's say, because aside from the management of the site, which I was describing before, the MyTwin also allows our, our installers to very easily, securely, and quickly access uh, every single device that they have in the installation and get into the web user interface of the device anytime that they need to do some let's say, more advanced configuration that my 2 n itself doesn't necessarily allow them to do. So in other words, when a tenant moves in and you need to change the name on the IP Verso touch display, you don't need to go there. Christian, could you show us such a change? Indeed. I just need to open a different site, choose the correct intercom, change the call settings. Now I can change the name, and once I click Save, the change will be immediately shown on the device's display. This is the typical setup that you will do in My2N, by the way. So you can do uh, troubleshooting as well. You can add the devices, delete them. You can work with users the, the same way. But this is, as I was saying before, this is, this is more of an administration of the site, which is what My2N is a very powerful tool for. But on the other side, you also have a remote configuration, which you can understand as a secured gateway uh, that allows you, as a system integrator, in case you need to do a setup on a device level, uh, it allows you to quickly and more importantly, securely access those devices and do whatever sort of configuration you need to do there. Uh, what is good to mention is that uh, the remote configuration, thanks to, his, thanks to the quick access that allows to our devices, uh, it serves not to, not to the administration or configuration purpose, I would say, but you will see many customers who are, in fact, using it uh, commercially as a very clear advantage in their business because part of their business might be providing these service level agreements to their customers. And the faster and the more easily they can access the site, they can access the device and do the maintenance, troubleshooting, whatever needs to be done there, the better it is for them and the more competitive service level agreements they can offer to their customers. So it's definitely not just about making their life easier, as I was saying. It's definitely also a clear commercial advantage that MyTwin brings them through the remote configuration. OK. Well, I must see that. Christian, sorry to interrupt you from your main task, but could you show us one click to the web interface of the intercom? Sure. Let's have a look. I just go to the device, open one of the devices, and after a couple of seconds, I am presented with the web interface the same way as in the local network. Impressive. And the last part was access control, right? That's correct. So the uh, last part is, is access control and, and its place within the My2N. Uh, I have to say that uh, the access control part is, is still at pretty much at its beginning in, in, in My2N. And we really talk about uh, RFID and, and PIN. Uh, of course, we're already planning to add the Bluetooth uh, as well as, as a third type of credential, uh, which, is, which compared to uh, the whole portfolio of access control credentials we have is, is, of course, just a part of that. But at the same time, we feel and we see that in residential installations, this is, this is what covers a vast majority of what our installers and end users as well on those sites are looking for, the cards and, and the PIN. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm done. 
the whole site is configured. You made that incredibly fast and we even interrupted you two times. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Christian. Um, just to clarify, Voita, um, you can do all of this in the web interface of products. Could you tell me the relationship between 2N OS and My2N? Well, wow, that's a really good question, yeah. Uh, so the uh, 2N operation system uh, is a very, I would say, extremely, uh, in fact, powerful tool. You can do a lot of things there. You can do, you can do uh, automation. You can create uh, a lot of use case scenarios rel relatively easy. It's a very powerful tool. But at the same time, especially when you look at the residential installations, uh, those installations uh, tend to be, I would say, relatively straightforward when you compare it to uh, other types of projects like commercial and, and, and government and so on. So what we felt is really that uh, to make the job of our installers easier, so, so administration and configuration, they don't need to necessarily use such a comprehensive system as a 2N OS. So that's why my 2 n allows them uh, to do exactly uh, what they need to do, even though it's, uh, I think I can say it's just a fraction of what 2 n operation system uh, can offer. But even this fraction, the way that my 2 n is designed today, even this relative fraction, as I was saying, still covers a vast majority of the cases and, and things that they need to do on site, uh, which, which for us mostly, when we talk about uh, the benefits that we bring to our customers and that my 2 n brings to, to, to them. Uh, even though that the way system looks today, it still saves 90% of the time that they would usually need for the installation. Plus, they don't have to travel anywhere. Uh, they have a easy, secure access to our devices. They have the same access to the site. And it's just uh, something that I can do from home office and uh, they don't need to necessarily travel to their customers to do most of the stuff that they usually need to do, which is, as I said, managing the user's credentials, changing the configuration of our devices. Well, that sounds like an argument to use My2N in the next project. Go to my2n.com and start using it today. Thank you, Voita. Thank you for having us here. And thank you, Christian. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Jacob, what do you have for us next? Well, don't be fooled by the all-glass surface of the 2N IP style intercom. It can easily withstand attacks by vandals. And this is because the 2N IP style is not covered in just any glass, but four millimeter thick tempered glass with a ceramic coating. It's certified with an impressive IK08 protection rating. But what does that mean in real life? Well, you might not be scared of an accidental key scratch, or even an intentional scratch. You may have residents who are more concerned about their image rather than their health. And they might try and use your IP style like an ashtray. Still works. But what if someone wants to set your intercom on fire? What about impact? Well, we can simulate the highly likely scenario of kids playing hockey right next to the intercom. That thing is definitely kid-proof. It's NHL-proof. We talked a lot about the solution for the residential market, especially for the apartment buildings and MDUs. However, 2N is historically very strong in one more vertical, and that's office buildings. How does office building projects differ from residential ones? Why to choose 2N access control system and how to manage it? 
We have Gareth Robinson here, Solution Manager at 2N, responsible for the office segment, to answer not only these questions. Welcome, Gareth. And the first question, could you explain the difference between office and residential projects? Yeah, definitely, Sinead. I, I think there is a, a really big difference between uh, commercial and residential projects. And I think we can really appreciate this if we put ourselves in the shoes of the people who, who manage these projects, these facilities, uh, on a daily basis. So, for example, a, a residential um, property manager, they're, they're probably going to be on the go, on the road, quite a lot of the time. Uh, and when they are um, working from an office, it's probably going to be remotely. So they're, they're not going to be uh, working in the, one of the buildings that they're actually managing. Um, probably their, their, their uh, responsibilities are going to be a lot more varied as well. So, for example, we expect that they might be out meeting people face to face, meeting the property owners, meeting potential tenants, conducting walk-in tours of the properties, uh, arranging signing of documents and handover of keys, etc. So I think access control is probably going to be really at the back of their mind. And when they are thinking about access control, it's going to be a much simpler need. You know, you need to allow people into the front doors, the back doors, maybe some other areas that they've, they've, they've got extra access to, like parking. But it's going to be quite simple. So they want a really uh, simple interface that they don't need lots of experience to learn and use, and something that's flexible that they can use anywhere whilst they're, whilst they're on the go. So how does that compare to commercial facility managers? Well, with commercial facility managers, it's, it's almost the exact opposite. So firstly, they're almost certainly going to be working in the same building where the access control and intercom hardware is installed. Also, they're going to be really like IT savvy and, and conversant with these uh, technical security systems. So it won't be a problem for them to be working in a more complex environment. They're definitely going to have a need for more granular uh, access control. So, for example, in a commercial environment, you've got different departments, different people with different roles and different access privileges. And I think they're happy to be working in, in that more complex environment as long as they've got access to those more advanced features and that more, that more granular control control of access. And that's why the 2N uh, vision is built around two separate platforms, each platform perfectly tailored to the individual needs of the target market. At the end of the day, we really believe that like a one solution fits all approach ultimately ends up with a, a solution or a product which doesn't really well align with anybody's needs. And sadly, that's something that we see quite a lot on the market today. So now we should focus on office building projects. What does your offer for a secure and comprehensive access control system consist of? What can you deliver to such projects today? Okay, well, with, with 2N, it's about a combination of uh, IP intercoms, of smart readers, and of course, of a software platform, a central platform to manage and maintain the whole system. So if you imagine um, you arrive at a, a commercial office building or, or a residential building, and if you're anything like me, you may have noticed one of the things you see next to the front door is a collection of like mismatched boxes. One of those might be the intercom for calling to the receptionist or a department office manager or anyone else in the building. And then you might have a couple of other boxes uh, which are all about people letting themselves in, access control. And usually they're from different manufacturers, they're different materials, different colours, they, they're not unified at all, they don't look uh, like they belong in the same space on the wall. And that presents a couple of problems. Um, number one, if you want somebody to be able to call to another person in, in the building, receptionist, office manager, then the admin has to programme that intercom with those people, so they've got to take time to put them in there. Then for the same people to be able to get into the building, an admin has to put those same people in the directory of the access control system. So they're doubling up on their work. So that's the first thing. And the other thing is, for want of a better word, it's, it's quite ugly. You know, the, the first thing you see when you arrive at the front door, the first impression of the building, the, the company you're visiting, is, is, is what's there next to the door. And it's just not an elegant solution to have all these like, mismatched pieces of hardware uh, ugly sitting next to each other. So that's the, these are the problems that 2N can, can solve. We combine the access control and intercom video door calling at the front door into one elegant unit, one, one uh, uh, IP intercom. So with our, for example, IP Verso or IP Style, our, our flagship intercom, that could be at the front door of the main entrances to the building. Uh, and we have other intercoms suited to other environments. For example, our IP Force with its 10-watt speaker uh, and hyper-robust design might be perfect for the, uh, for the parking entrances. 
Then once we're in the building, you'll, you'll probably encounter uh, an elevator where there might be like controlled access to different floors, so the vertical access control. So you can take one of our smart readers and put it in the elevator to do exactly that, to manage uh, controlling access to those different floors. Then when you get off on a floor, you'll probably make your way to your desk to start work for the day. Uh, and you might also badge to, uh, uh, to get into your department or your office, whichever it is, because maybe there's some sensitive stuff there and you don't want just anybody to be able to get in and have access. So again, you can use our smart reader to protect access to your, your office or your working space. And you can do that through uh, any one of or a combination of different technologies we support, like fingerprint, like RFID, pin code, or, or even mobile access with your mobile phone. So you're talking about access using a smartphone. William also mentioned mobile access. It seems the the access world is buzzing about mobile access right now. Do you see that continuing? Yeah, absolutely, without doubt. I think we can safely say that mobile, mobile access, mobile credentials are here to stay. I think of all of the uh, different credential types, they have by far the biggest growth rate, and that's definitely set to continue. And 2N recognised this quite a way back, and that's why we decided to invest a lot in, in mobile access and in developing the most technologically advanced uh, mobile access solution, which is WaveKey. Uh, and what mobile access offers, uh, let's start with um, modernity. So it's a modern solution. You know, I can't think of any worker in a commercial environment who doesn't have a smartphone these days, right? Uh, and we expect our phones to work as tools for us, to do more and more for us, you know, from banking and uh, ordering food and, and so on. Um, for me, it's freed me up from the burden of carrying a, a huge wad of, of plastic store cards in my wallet. Uh, and I can't think of the last time I saw someone pull out a card and, and pay with a plastic card at a payment terminal. Um, so it's that modern solution, which with the, the platform of a mobile device also offers extra security. You, you've got um, a flexible way that you can uh, you can trigger access control or use mobile credentials. So, for example, you might have uh, uh, enforced extra security with um, a mode where you have to unlock the phone and interact with the application somehow to open a door, or you could choose to implement a way where you present the phone to the reader just like a card, or maybe you could use our, something like our touch mode where you can touch the reader and the door magically opens for you. Uh, and that, in turn, it brings convenience for the end user. Um, it, it's quite important. I think more and more people are really savvy to um, looking for ways that their life can be made easier, for want of a better expression. So imagine that you leave for work in the morning and you don't have to pick up a, a bunch of plastic RFID cards or plastic fobs. As long as you've got your phone with you, you're good to go. And then when you get to the office, uh, you don't have to put your bag down and, and uh, look around, struggle around in your pockets trying to find your card or your keys. You simply touch the reader with the back of your hand or brush it with your elbow uh, and you let yourself into the office really simply with uh, minimum first, minimum friction. So we're talking about office buildings where security prevails. Everyone will compare it to the RFID cards. How do you think uh, the wave key compares in terms of reliability and security? Okay, well, uh, sure, RFID cards, they are um, usually secure, well, as long as you're using the right type of card. Um, fairly fast, transaction time when you're using an RFID card is about a second, and, and generally pretty reliable. But actually, we think that with WaveKey, we can equal, if not better, the performance on all three of those fronts uh, with, with our mobile access solution. Uh, actually, what makes WaveKey unique is that we're the only company who've actively worked to solve um, what's seen are the three obstacles for mobile access, and arguably for access control uh, generally. So that the first one is the reliability. So we've conducted over many months a mind-boggling uh, array of tests on a huge selection of different phones, manufacturers, and, and models to ensure that WaveKey will always open the door for you. In terms of speed, the transaction speed, we're actually better than RFID, three times quicker, in fact, with an average transaction time of about a third of a second. Uh, and lastly, with security, we have our own um, encrypted uh, channel between the mobile device and the reader. But on top of that, as I mentioned, this special algorithm we've developed, which means when you're using touch mode, the convenient uh, way to trigger authentication, you just touch the reader with your hand or elbow. Our algorithm actually looks to see your pattern of, of behavior, your pattern of motion. So it makes sure that you really are moving and moving towards the door before it decides to allow your phone uh, to authenticate with that reader. And that's been a, a real key for us. 
And what about cost? People are used to paying for cards. What about mobile credentials? Well, I'm, I'm glad that you asked that question. Um, here at 2N, for mobile credentials themselves, they're actually free of charge. We don't specifically um, charge for them uh, at all. So I think when you combine that with, uh, with the three uh, benefits that I mentioned earlier, to, to answer your initial question, yeah, I think uh, mobile credentials and specifically WaveKey are able to outperform RFID on, on every front, on the speed, the security, the reliability uh, and the convenience. It sounds impressive, but we'll see. Jacob will test and verify the wave key in a while. So for now, we have intercoms at entrances and parking lots. We have smart readers to enter offices and meeting spaces. This is unique mobile access technology, but there's still one thing, perhaps the most important, missing. How do we set up the whole installation? Well, each of our intercoms or smart readers has uh, a controller built in. You can think of a controller as like a, a intelligence or a brain. So actually, each individual device can act as a standalone unit. So in a small office, you can attach one of our readers or intercoms to the wall, and there's no need for any other hardware, no separate controller or boxes uh, to install. But in a, in a bigger environment where there are several of our devices working together, we offer a single management platform in the form of our powerful Access Commander software. So that's a tool to centrally manage and configure all the devices. And it's about access control, about device management, user management and calling setup. So whether you're adding users and, and defining which doors they can go through and when, or even maybe setting up the display of the intercom or the calling buttons and choosing which and whose phones those buttons call through to, uh, Access Commander has you covered on all fronts. Could you show us what the interface looks like and how it helps security admin deal with their daily situation? Yeah, of course, Sinead. It'll be my pleasure. So... I think um, probably it's good to start with uh, what uh, a person setting up an installation might encounter first of all. So that's getting users on, uh, on boarded and then being able to set up the access rules. And access rules are basically the heart of an access control system. So they, they dictate who can access where and when. So with 2N, we've got a really innovative uh, feature we've introduced recently in Access Commander uh, called an access matrix. So what that does is it provides a graphic interface to really quickly join the, the three main elements. And those three main elements are groups of users, zones of devices, and time profiles. So we combine the three together in, a, in an access rule to say who can access where and when. So through this matrix, I can quickly set up exactly who should, uh, which group should have access to the right zones, uh, and I can look back and audit and make sure that I've done that, uh, I've done that correctly. So once that's done, and my job as a, an installer, let's say, is, is over, the initial setup, um, putting my, my uh, daily user cap on, so the, the people that might be sat in front of Access Commander, maybe a receptionist or a security admin, and they're going to want fingertip access to the functions that they use daily. So, for example, it could be a receptionist who wants to quickly be able to onboard visitors. Um, it could be looking at the occupancy of a given area. You know, we're living in, in these post-COVID times, um, and I think it's increasingly important to think about, uh, about the uh, hygienic safety of people. So often, uh, more and more, we're seeing this uh, need for an ability to control how many people are in an area, what the saturation is of the area. So we can quickly see here what the occupancy is and, uh, and if there's a problem. Um, as a, an IT admin, perhaps I'm looking at Access Commander and I, uh, I can see the system resources here, I can check the disk space and so on. Um, if there's an emergency, heaven forbid, uh, we're able to quickly from the dashboard board uh, instigate a lockdown to protect the safety of uh, our staff or employees or visitors and so maybe with the door widget here we can see exactly who stood at the front door uh, we can see the live video stream check out who they are and maybe we can help them out I, I've got live door control in the door widget so perhaps it's a delivery person with their hands full or they're not sure which button to press so I can open the door or hold the door open even for them all from my dashboard so it's, it's about providing those uh, those key functions that we might use daily at, uh, right at the fingertips. 
Next up, we might uh, perhaps need to respond to an incident. So something's happened, maybe uh, something's been stolen from an office uh, and a security person wants to do an audit and see exactly what, what's taken place. So if I come over here to the access logs section, uh, what I can do is have a, a full list of all the accesses that have taken place. I can see all the information, who accessed where and when. And we even, even have a great feature called cam logs. So if it's uh, a camera equipped intercom where uh, I'm, I'm looking at this access log, we can see snapshots of exactly what happened just before and just after uh, the event. And I think going hand in hand with the logs um, is something that's perhaps a little bit more active, like an active notification. So here at the top, uh, we have a notification section. So for the admin, they can be instantly informed when they sit down in front of Access Commander that there are some, some things that need their attention. And it's something we're all familiar with. You know, if you have Facebook and you log in and you can see all the notifications of things that have uh, happened whilst you, uh, since you last logged in. Um, and to provide something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more active even than this, because we can't assume that the admin is always sat at the desk, uh, we can set up these active notifications by email. So a range of different scenarios where we could say like door forced open or uh, entry denied or the door has been held open too long or left open too long. An access commander can detect those events and actively send them uh, by email to a, an admin so they can take appropriate action. And now I can put back on my hat of the person who looks after perhaps the, the hardware side, whether it's the installer again or, or, or the same administrator, uh, and think about keeping the devices up to date. So in uh, the device management section, I can really easily make sure that all the devices are running the latest firmware, see if there's a problem. And if there's a new firmware available, I can easily download it and get it deployed all from within Access Commander. No need to hunt around online for the latest firmware packages and upload them manually. So that's that's really important in making sure that all devices are running optimally and with the highest level of security. Gareth, after that demonstration, I feel that I could do a basic setup. Uh, could you tell me what else does 2N Access Commander bring to admin and facility managers? Yeah, sure. So um, I, I think, first of all, uh, access actually starts right at the perimeter of the, uh, of the uh, building or the installation. So that's usually the car park. Integrated in Access Commander, we have the ability to use uh, license plate recognition, LPR. Uh, we have integrated lift access control to manage that, uh, that vertical access to the different floors. Um, we have a module to offer simple time and attendance monitoring, so you can keep track of, uh, of members of staff or employees' attendance throughout the weeks, days, and, and, and months. So, of course, uh, we also offer the mobile credentials, those free credentials which can be generated directly within Access Commander, and we have a separate visitor management system within Access Commander as well. So you can remotely issue credentials, whether it's PIN code or QR code, uh, offering frictionless, convenient access to your visitors. And part of that solution, we offer customizable email templates to simplify the receptionist's job. So when she issues a credential, you, she wouldn't have to follow up with a second email saying like how to get to the office or how to report to reception, it can already be there in the, in the template email. So many features. And you mentioned remote issuing of mobile credentials, right? Mm -hmm. Could you generate and send one to Jacob? He's now getting ready for the test. Yeah, OK, sure. Just uh, give me a sec. Thank you. So while Gareth works on this, please go to acdemo.2n.com to visit our free online demo. Just register for an instant access link and see for yourself how 2N Access Commander can offer your business added value by providing capability without the complexity. Okay, I'm done and Jacob will get an email in just a second with everything he needs. Thank you so much for being here, Gareth. It was a pleasure. Well, thanks for having me, Sinead. It's been my pleasure too. No problem at all. And now let's see if Jacob has already received his pairing code for mobile access. Let me check my inbox, Sinead. Yes, I've got the code right there. So let's see how difficult it is to pair your phone with a Bluetooth reader. Now, I've already installed the 2N mobile app into the, into the phone, so now I'm just gonna add device, put in the code. So far, there it is. Perfect. And you know what's the real magic? is that if I pair it with my phone on one device, it automatically will pair it with any other device that I already have access to. It's brilliant. 
Anyway, let's dive into the real testing and try out the first of four modes that WaveKey offers. First is touch mode. Now they claim that with this mode, the user doesn't even have to take their phone out of their pocket or their purse when they approach the reader. All they have to do is touch the screen with their hand or even their elbow to gain access. The door is open. Door is open. Let's try with the elbow. Really works well, immediately. But I know what you're thinking. Is it secure? Imagine an employee standing in the kitchen, chatting with someone. He has his smartphone nearby. Isn't that gonna open it to someone unwanted? Or maybe there's a developer sitting next to the door, busily coding a new feature. Can't someone outside just touch the door, gain access? Let's test it. Here's the phone lying on the desk. Nothing. Secure. The reason is because of the intelligent algorithm. It needs motion for the phone to be detected, to gain authentication. And furthermore, the algorithm also recognizes the direction. If you're approaching the door or if you're passing by it and then moving away from the device. In that case, no authentication will be granted. It seems the guys at 2N did a great job, but let's test some of the other modes. Specifically, we'll continue with the most convenient one, which requires an intercom with a camera. This is motion mode. It's a completely contactless way to open doors, so it's even more convenient than the previous. Now, how does it work? The camera in the intercom triggers an authentication process based on motion detection. So we'll test it with a wave of the hand. The door is open. It's so easy. I love it. Now the third one is tapping the app. And with this mode, I need to take the phone from my pocket, open the door by tapping a virtual button in the 2N mobile key app. And since everybody's phone is protected by a password, a fingerprint, or facial recognition, this mode is considered to be as secure as possible. Now I can see all the readers that are in with the range. I can choose one and open it. Now this is great for entrance to highly protected places such as your finance department, laboratories, your server room, but it's also great for when you're in parking lots and garages and places where you might not want to get out of the convenience of your own car. So I can see right there, main entry, I can see all the different locations. The door is open. Bingo. 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 Works every time. Now the last one to test is the card mode. I still need to have the phone in my hand, but I don't need to unlock the screen or open the app. All I need to do is present my phone to the Bluetooth reader, just like with a traditional card. You don't actually have to touch the device. It's sort of like swiping it, like an NFC card. Only this works with both devices, iOS and Android. The door is open. Door is open. Doors open. I don't know about you, but I'm thrilled. This modern solution is reliable, safe, fast, and flexible thanks to four different modes. Back to you, Sinead. One of the pillars of 2N's success, whether in residential or commercial projects, is the openness of their products and the ability to integrate with other systems. This creates the right value for the facility manager, who ideally can control several interconnected systems from a single interface. Sitting next to me is Radka Talianova, technology partner manager at 2N, with whom I will now talk about the benefits of integrations. Welcome, Radka. Hello, Shinet. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be here with you today. Let me start with perhaps the most important question for integrators or facility managers. What are the benefits of interoperable open systems or products? Like the main benefit is that system integration enable innovation in the industry. Imagine that two or more systems can uh, exchange information. Uh, the systems can react automatically to each other's actions. Plus, Facility managers or system integrators, they can choose the right software and combine it with the best-in-class hardware available on the market. So this is how we can innovate the way a building operates with significant improvements on security, comfort, efficiency, 
and the environment. When system integrators offer a package of well-integrated systems, they maximize the revenue from one installation. Plus, uh, very often there are uh, integration licenses or plugin licenses. It means there is an extra revenue for them. And even though some people might think that those are unnecessary costs, based on my experience, those are the features customers are willing to pay because uh, it lowers the cost and improves the efficiency. So if a customer decides they want to keep up with trends and connect 2N devices to other systems, what options do they have with 2N? System integration has been with us uh, since the very beginning. And uh, we have this vision of providing our customers with the highest flexibility on how they design and use our system in different size and type of installations. That's why there are multiple choices if they want to integrate our products. First of all, we support open standards and protocols like OnWith Profile S, uh, SIP protocol, uh, Vigant, newly added OSDP, and we are now working on uh, OnWith Profile T. If this is not enough, we have a 2N automation, which is part of the device configuration web interface. At and it enables you to very easily create dependencies between 2N products and third-party system. And it requires zero development on, or programming. So it's very convenient. And of course, we can offer also the highest um, level of integration through our APIs. Our customers or uh, system integrators, they always say that our APIs are, uh, are flexible, they are extensive, stable, and easy to adopt. So it's not very time consuming or expensive to build integrations around 2N devices. And with this set of options, we can satisfy pretty much 99% of customers' requirements. Thank you. And could you be a bit more specific about the integration? Which partners do you um, connect with? Uh, William mentioned video management and security systems. Are these type of integrations still prevalent or are there others that you consider options? Historically, our customers combined 2N products with a video management solution, IPPBX or home automation. Nowadays, Facility managers, customers are pushing us towards new partnerships with co-working platforms, PSIM software, uh, property management system, or building automation. Like in the commercial space, I would say that still the combination of video access control and intercom system is gaining the most attention. And here we have very nice solution with the Genetech or Milestone. And the main benefit is very easy because you, as a system operator, you can make your decision based on information from different sources. For example, your access control alerts you that uh, a door was open with force. So you can uh, uh, click on your camera and see what's going on in their area. And then you can use your intercom system to start a conversation with the person in that area so you can solve it quite quickly. And then I'm uh, very proud, proud of our newest partners. Uh, newly, our 2N intercom solution is uh, compatible with uh, Lenel S2 OnGuard system and CQ9000 by Johnson's Control. Here we combine high quality intercom solution with the most advanced access control and even monitoring platform on the market. Uh, again, many benefits. Uh, first one is that uh, as an operator, you work with one graphical user interface. You are familiar with, you are trained for, and now to an intercoms become native part of the system. So many, uh, in many times you have there are graphical maps of your building, so you can very easily locate your intercom and start a communication. Uh, an example can be that an employee uh, tried to open a door with his badge, but for some reason it's not working. So uh, the operator can see this uh, failed attempts to open a door, so he can get in touch through his intercom system and allow that employee to uh, enter the building and navig navigate him to HR department, for example. 
Uh, then we provide also extensive monitoring of uh, intercom events, and these events can be then further linked with actions within the secure or on guard, or it can be interconnected with other systems which might be connected to those big uh, platforms. So as you describe it, there are plenty of companies that your product is compatible with. Where can the customers learn about the solution and how can you guarantee interoperability? We built uh, the 2 an integration hub, which is the central place where uh, customers, integrators, distributors can learn about the uh, compatible solutions with 2N. We have also 2N technology partner program. Imagine that you have this premium customer who pays a huge amount of money for his security systems. And once he comes to an installation, he cannot set up a video management with intercom solution or access control. So what you don't want is these providers to start blaming each other for this malfunctioning. And that's why we set up this uh, technology partner program. Uh, we have uh, our premium partner systems installed in our labs, so we know how our products should work with those systems. We have this internal knowledge. And also, when an issue happens, we cooperate with these partners to help solve to help you solve the issue. Plus, you know, the integration hub is full of configuration manuals our customers can use during an installation. Awesome. Thank you, Radka, for being with us and explaining to us the added value of integration, such as innovation, revenue stream, higher security, and introducing us to your 2N integration hub. Thank you, Shinet, for having me here. My pleasure. Thank you. So Jacob, before we wrap today's show, let's just briefly go through some of 2N's latest updates and news that will make the life of every installer, integrator, and project manager much easier. Sure. 2N will be launching a brand new augmented reality mobile app this spring, so you can check out how the product will look installed in the interior and the exterior, just with your smartphone. The app will also work with your 2N catalog. Just aim your phone at a photo of an intercom or reader and you're ready to go. The app will pick up the product and show it in real size. You can also break it down into its individual elements, flip it around and explore each and every detail. Here is another time saver for an integrator who puts together an offer for a project. You don't have to go through the item price list and copy and paste ordering numbers. With 2N Project Designer, you just choose 2N intercom configurations to match the features you need. Combine them with 2N answering and access readers and add accessories. The tool also recommends components and alerts you when you miss something. Then you can download your list of items as an XLS or PDF file. Lost in the compatibility of different 2N products? Just go to the 2N Integration Hub. It's not just a list of compatible products, it's everything you need for seamless integration, step by step. Browse through the manufacturers of VMS, access control, building and security management, PBXs, cameras, and many more. It's so easy. As you can see, 2N is truly devoted to supporting its customers. We hope you enjoyed today's On Air and learned a thing or two that will make your everyday work easier. Thank you for joining us today and hope to see you soon.